Hey Virgo, how are you? Thanks so much for watching. Virgo, this is going to be your reading for the first half of October 2018. I hope that the September readings were well for you. I hope that September moved well for you. Virgo, let's see what October has coming for you away. What information does Virgo need to know for October? October 2018, what does Virgo need to know? Shuffling the cards. Just please give me a moment, Virgo. What do you need to know? Okay, Virgo. This will be for your sun, moon, and rising. If this does not resonate for you, then check your moon and rising or your other placements as they may provide more um, information for you for your guidance. Okay, so here you go, Virgo. Let's see what energies are opening up for you for October. Okay, Virgo, we have the Eight of Swords here in reverse. Virgo, I'm getting the sense that for some of you, um, you're really um, making steps to move past a certain mindset. Um, you're, uh, if there has been like particular ways of thinking that have, that has like, you know, weighed you down or kept you constricted in the past, I really feel like a lot of you. Um, as we move through the first half of October are really um, loosening up those binds and coming out of those mental confines. Um, and you're really going to be seeing um, things a lot more clearly. Um, and so that's beautiful energy. Beautiful. So with the Queen of Cups here um, in reverse, I do feel like um, you do feel like you have a really, really... Uh, it's like you really feel like you need to be guarded. You really need to um, like hold on to your feelings. Like you need to like be careful with the things that you say and the way that you express yourself with people. Um, for a lot of you, you may be working through trust issues that you have in situations. Um, and you know, you're not really, you don't necessarily see the positive uh, or you don't necessarily see how people who really do care about you are there for you. Um, you know, just from things that you may have experienced in the past, Virgo. I feel like past hurts could be, um, past hurts or past disappointments could be uh, keeping you from moving forward. Or it may have kept you from moving forward at one point. But a lot of you are experiencing opportunities now where you're going to be able to, um, you know, really like uh, have like a, um, a greater appreciation for those opportunities to come back around or maybe even for like um, if it's a lover that you were involved with you may even feel like you have another opportunity with, to reconcile with them we do have the princess of wands here with the princess of wands this could be somebody else in your life Virgo that maybe you did have an opportunity with um, and it could have been like a false start um, this could be somebody here in your life that may have manipulated you and um, you may even feel like they are holding you back the same way that this person has held you back um, you may even be starting to see certain red flags in the things that they do um, you may be looking at them from a new perspective and really seeing them for who they are like maybe you did uh, have a lot of passion for them at one point you did have a lot of um, you know uh, feelings for them um, but this is somebody that you are uh, really just seeing the person that they really are and then now feeling a different way and you're recognizing it. For a lot, some of you Virgos, this could be um, two completely different people. This could be somebody from your past that did you wrong and now this is somebody that you feel is doing you wrong now based off of those, um, you know, based off of what happened to you in the past. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse, some of you Virgos, I really feel like you ha you your your feelings are right like you do. Um, you are experiencing like maybe the same go round just with a different, a different individual, you know, um, you're feeling, you know, like you're not necessarily seeing things in the right way. Like there, there may have been some mental play with this. Um, like there may have been some, um, there may have been some like, uh, you know, manipulation here um, of your emotions through action. 
um, where someone may have made you feel like they were everything and they were going to be everything for you forever and ever. And then now the situation has changed and they're showing you a new side of yourself and you're like, whoa, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, mm -mm, I got to break free. You know, I got to move forward because, you know, it's, you know, it's not right. Yeah, the Ten of Cups here in reverse. So with the Ten of Cups here in reverse, usually this is like emotional fulfillment, right? This is you having that complete emotional emotional happiness. You know, you're you're just completely happy. You know, you've got the house and the kids and, you know, everything that you can wish for has come true and you're able to share that life with someone, right? But with that being in reverse, this is saying that this is, could be like a false promise of that. So with the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse, next to the Ten of Cups in reverse, this is me saying, I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, there have been a lot of people in your life that have given you these type of false starts and that you um, now are just, we'll see, but I feel like for a lot of you, you're really now stepping into a place of recognizing that um, and you're going to, you know, you're trying to turn that around. You're going to be turning that around moving forward. Yeah, oh, yeah, with the King of Wands here. Wow, you guys have a lot of people in your chart, Virgo. So, I mean, in your reading, Virgo. So, Virgo, I do feel like there could be, there's a lot of strong fire energy here. This could be like um, a group effort to have your mind manipulated in a certain way. Um, you may have experienced that where a lot of you may have found yourself in like a particular situation where there were multiple parties involved in the mind play, if you will, or the mind fuck, or, um, you know, you may have been even getting lied to. I feel like maybe at certain points in your life, it's like you're on a cycle of like, okay, you're realizing I've been lied to by this person. I've been lied to by this person. I've been lied. I've even been being lied to by, you know, you know, you're really recognizing that you're being lied to now, even. I mean, this is like present energy, kind of, but then this is at the same time, this is what's really in your environment. You're really seeing the situation for what it is, okay? You're recognizing, wait a minute, I don't really, this is not something that I thought that I wanted, um, you know, what, what, what was, what were they communicating to me? What were they, you know, doing that had me manipulated uh, to think that, you know, to manipulate my feelings into being, you know, in this, it's like, it's almost like a reality bubble of, you know, yeah, you'll have good times, but then, you know, it's like, it's, it's like it's tainted with like a hint of, eh, you know, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like that Virgo. And then the two of wands here. So it's like, okay, what, what are we going to do Virgo? Are, are we... You know, now that we see that we really don't have to be bound by these certain situations, now that we see that, what are we going to do? Are we going to go ahead and, and move forward? Are we going to go ahead and, and, and break free of the reality that we've created or that was created around us? We don't have to accept that reality. We don't have to accept the reality that somebody gives us. We accept the reality that we make, right? We take action, um, you know, to create our own circumstances and our own happiness and not just the happiness that somebody wants us to be in to make them happy. Virgo, this is like you saying, okay, I'm just going to just compromise who I am, you know, or I'm just going to, you know, just go with the flow of making everybody else happy around me. And giving everybody else this Ten of Cups, but for me, it's reverses because, you know, I'm not necessarily feeling that way. I'm just a role for somebody else to feel this way. Oh, boy, Virgo. So, what's the outcome here? So, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Dang, Virgo. Okay, so, this is you. This is you, Virgo. This is your Earth energy. You are the Queen of Pentacles, Okay. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but for the sake of this reading, I know this is you, Virgo, okay? This is saying, listen, you know, as you, I don't feel like this is something that you will be able to fully work through in just the first two weeks or the first half of October. This is something that I really feel like may even, for a lot of you, this energy may even carry on into longer. You know, this is something, you know, I can't, maybe not even the rest of October, but some of you, maybe even November, we'll see. But, you know, this is just really you, um, just really having to really see for yourself that, you know, you're not necessarily happy. You're in a position now where you're really only making other people happy that are around you. Um, 
or you know you're giving them what they want you know but you're not necessarily getting what you want to be fulfilled out of this relationship you know or even some of you may even be dealing with multiple different people to satisfy different multiple um parts of you right but it's not giving you that full happiness because you know you would rather that of course with you know one main person i mean more traditionally so let's see what additional energies that we do have for Virgo popping out. Wow, Virgo. Let's see what additional energies we have for Virgo to clarify here. Please let us know for Virgo. What can you clarify this for Virgo? Okay, and that one wanted to come out too. It kept wanting to. Okay, so let's see here. We have Justice. And then we also have the Hermit. Ooh, Virgo. This is interesting because you know what? Virgo, okay, this is your card. This is your energy here. This is what I said. What I said, you introspecting into yourself and realizing the situations for what they are. You're shining the light on it for what it really is, okay? And you're seeing the dysfunction. Now, what are you going to do to actually correct that, to make it right, to bring justice back to the situation, okay? Okay. And the justice does come back to the situation. It's here, but it just may take a, little, a lot longer for some of you, maybe than just the first half or even the whole October. So that's just what I see here for you, Virgo. Also, it's interesting because Virgo is like, this is the Virgo card and this, and this is the Libra card. The Libra, Libra comes right after Virgo. Okay, and even right now it is in Libra season um, as we move into the first half of October. So again, this is like just saying, you know, you will again, this is just reedifying that you you will have justice within the situation. Okay. You just, um, you're doing exactly what you're doing. What you're doing is the right thing. You're really introspecting and you're really looking at the people around you and the situations that are around you, the environment that you're in, and you're seeing the dysfunction in your own reality. And now it's up to you to make that choice to move forward into it. Okay. And you do. And I see that you, um, it's not like it's a hard decision to make, you know, with this, I feel like you'd be at like a stalemate with it. Like, Oh, I just don't know what to do. But with this card right here, I feel like it's like, okay, you know what? No, I know I see it. The blindfold is off. I'm going to go ahead and make this decision. I'm going to cut so many different negative things from my life and I'm going to see, um, or not even really is like you just not even that you really you may not even need to cut situations. It may just that you even find yourself confronting situations um, in your life, but not from like a very harsh point, but just from a very logical point, you know, and making people understand exactly what you're worth and how you need to be um you know, how you need to be appreciated, okay, if this is a matter of appreciation um, for you, even, even so, you may even just be really confronting to the people that are around you saying, listen, I know the type of games that you've been playing, I know the manipulation that you've had me under, and no more, it ends now, I'm moving more forward into my abundance, and even if that means for you having to go inward to move forward, that's okay, because, you know, guess what? Justice definitely does prevail. So let's see what additional information do we have to carry Virgo here through the um, first half of October. Okay, we got one card there. Let's see what another card is. What was the next card? Okay, so we got a few different cards. Okay, so we have the Seder, Revelry and Indulgence, the Oracle, Seek Wisdom, Guidance from Elders, the spider, be meticulous and patient, the griffin, honor and good luck, and the minstrel, um, let your intentions be known. So this goes right in ties with what I was saying earlier. Let the people know in your life exactly the business that you mean. And, you know, you're intending to set some things right. And, you know, you're not going to take no for an answer. Either you're walking out of their life or you're going to be setting things right, you know, within the relationship. And for some of you, this is just saying you may be picking and choosing the right time to do that. Um, you know, you're really being patient. You're waiting for the right time to even say that, to let your intentions be known um, because you are doing a lot of inner work within to make sure that you are coming from the right place. 
So, you know, you're coming from a place, you know, that you're going to be, um, you know, very diplomatic here in this. Um, and I think that the best approach for that is to be diplomatic because, you know, this person will grow to honor you and appreciate you more as opposed to you, you know, showing out or, you know, getting ratchet or anything like that with the confrontation. If you feel like you need to com if you need to confront for some of you. Yeah, you're, you're going within because you're really seeking wisdom. Um, you may be even talking to elders within your family about the situation that you're in because, you know, they may be able to provide um, insight. And then um, for some of you, Virgos, you may even be. Uh, OK, so listen, you may have already decided that, you know, I'm going to go ahead and explore my other options because I'm not happy anyways. So I'm already going to go ahead and just, you know, indulge in other behaviors because I already know that I don't want to devote any more situ any more. Um, it's like a distraction for you to be, uh, you know, to get over, um, you know, feeling like you were used or manipulated. OK, so um, this is just the energy that I do feel like is coming forward towards you to uh, towards you, Virgo. This doesn't necessarily say that you do have to, you know, indulge in certain behaviors. I just feel like a lot of you may receive that temptation to do that. Um, Virgo, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate you. I hope you have a great rest of your October. Actually, we'll see what, how things play forward into the second half of October and beyond. So I'll see you then, Virgo. Thanks. You have a good one.